episode of Let's Get Spooky. I'm Leanna Vamp. And I'm Ashley. And today we are talking about fast, fast food, which as much as we love to hate it, we kind of love it and it's become an American staple. I I love it and I know I shouldn't love it. So I guess That's you're right, love to hate, yeah. It's everything like we've said before in other, you know, in the poison episode, everything's in moderation, but to- Some things you shouldn't have at all. To the defense of them, you know, I, you know, or probably when you get off the highway to go to my place, there's a McDonald's one block away from me. Mm. Do I visit it? No. I go like <laughs> once every three months because I am- What do you get there? Oh my God, uh, hash browns. You get like the the not fast food. Yeah, I, I'm, thing I'm a very I'm a very bizarre person. I shouldn't even really be allowed to go in there. Um, what is? Um, I feel like the types of fast food that people eat are explain them as a person. So what is your go-to fast food? This almost feels like when someone says they look like their dog, <laughs> and you're like, what do you look like as I'm a fast food? I'm gonna judge you when you yeah. tell me what type of fast food is your favorite. Oh man! But I'm actually I won't judge you because I love you. I'm thinking, I really feel like I am a, a frosty from Wendy's. That's because I really love being cold oh, and I, I love have, chocolate. I have, uh, I have a story, but it's, it's a fast food horror story about Wendy's, so I'll save it for that section. I hope um, it's not horrible because they mean, might be my favorite place on the planet. But the only thing you get there is frosties? No, I get everything. Okay, Fuck so it. the one thing about Wendy's is as a child, I loved Wendy's because of the Frosty, because you get the French fries and you would dip the French fries in the Frosty. As if you, you were smart, some people don't know that still, and it's very, very sad, but and we're telling you, you now. If you've never done it, the go-to place is to do it at In-N-Out. And my trick is you get the Neapolitan Shake, which is the three flavors. I've never had that. What? I have, I've gone to In-N-Out twice, and both times I've gotten sick, so I haven't. I've had, well. But I'm new to the West Coast, so I'm trying to just like, you know, it's funny because I feel like with fast food and we'll get into like processing and stuff about it, but sometimes I feel like things can be bad for you, but your body becomes immune to it. And for me, when I was little, I used to always go to Dunkin' Donuts and they had coffee culottas and coffee culottas would always give me blazing diarrhea. I but, thought the culotta was a new thing. Is that always no, been No, it's been around since I was like seven years old. Like it was a big thing for me. And I remember going through the drive-thru and the lady would always say, that's 900 calories. And I'd like, fuck you lady, this is my Don't treat. Don't judge me. And it would make me so sick. But over the years I would get so immune to it that I was okay. You built up your coffee culotta tolerance. Yeah, and tolerance. I feel like I didn't build my tolerance for in and out cause I just went out and never went back in. What made you sick though? Was it like the burger, the fries, I think it the was shake? The, it was the burger and I think I ate it fast because I was in the desert all day. So, so I had starving. Eaten and yeah. I just, yeah, and it happened two times in a row because it was after a production thing. So we were all like, fuck. Malnourished and yeah, hungry. Yeah, malnourishment like, plus in and out. In the desert, it's hot, so. With no water, as yeah, you know. we know she drinks one water a year. I don't know. Um, so the Neapolitan shake, when you go back to in and out I can't have dairy anymore, so unfortunately my life is sad, but you get the chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, so they stack it. Well, you can have dairy, you'll just get fucked up. Yeah, I, I, I could do whatever I want, I, yeah. but I won't because it's bad news for me. So you, you don't mix the flavors though. So you have to drink it, like don't put your straw in it and stir it around because then it just becomes chocolate, like with a little hint of strawberry. So you keep it, so as you drink it, you get the different, I don't know, you think you can request the order they put it in, but you dip the fries. That's very, very high quality, you it's know. It's very good. It's very Service good. there. Uh, I would like to request that the strawberry lies underneath the vanilla for my ultimate pleasure I for would $3. Like the, I would like the strawberry to yeah. be on top because I want it to be the last thing that I taste because it's the like best. I would like chocolate on the bottom and on the top because I'm an asshole. So you just want a chocolate shake? Yeah. No, that's me. <laughs> that's me though, what are you? I'm Neapolitan, I'm all three. So we're both frosty bitch beverages? So, like so we're not even a food item. No, right, I know. We're liquid. French fries. If I had to say one fast food item that like, I would probably be a little distraught if I could never have again, it would be French fries. And I know you can get that anywhere else, but there's something about like a McDonald's French fry or like an In-N-Out. In-N-Out, the secret too, is you get them, um, uh, what, are they, what do they call it when we, how we order them? Were they extra style? crispy? No, that's um, a sex thing. It's not called. It sounds like it's burnt. It's not burnt. <laughs> well done. Yeah, you ordered. I like my. <laughs> you have burnt. Please just no. Cook it again. Cook it and then cook it twice. Kind of like bread. It's not burnt. It's it's well done. So they're just crispy. Because I know you like the soggy limp fries, and that's yeah. disgusting. 
pizza. I don't care. I love cold pizza. Like I was gonna say, if I wasn't a frosty, this goes back to my childhood and nostalgia. But I don't know if you ever went to Pizza Hut, but I used Loved to always pizza get. Hut. I used to always get the book club thing, and I'd get a free personal pan pizza. What's the book club thing? I don't. Well, remember that. you would like read books, and they, their school would prove that you're smart, and they're like, "Well, here's a free personal pan pizza because you read three stupid ass books." And then oh, you'd go. I don't remember that. And you'd get it, and then you would be promised a prize like McDonald's, but you would never get it. So you'd have to eat the whole pizza and you're like, holy shit, where's my prize? And you have to go up to the register and be like, yo, where's my book? prize? No, you get a prize. You get a plastic piece of garbage, but- Like the toy at the- Yeah, Happy but I Meal feel toy. like that's very representative of me. I'm like a small food item that you have to ask really hard to get the prize. And it's like, that's my personality. The, the, I do remember the personal pan pizza from Pizza Hut because it was the perfect amount of like crispy, yeah. like all around the edges. And it was basically- Kind of like a pie. <laughs> like, like a burnt crispy when pie. When we don't fuck it up. Um, my pizza at Pizza Hut, we always got the Bigfoot pizza, the one in the square. We never had that in existence. It was like the, the size Coast. of the table. That didn't exist for me. But it was a lot of like crispy edges and it was like a treat. Like if we were good and we did our homework and got good grades and yeah. did our chores, we well, got a giant fucking pizza at the end of the week. It is kind of weird to think because right now in society, we're very health conscious right now. Like we have most food establishments having vegan options. Like yeah. really, you know, in McDonald's, they have apple slices instead of French fries. Mm -hmm. And we're and really, yeah. we're really like focused in on being healthy and fast food, you know, it started in 1921 with uh, White Castle. And wait, is that the first fast food? Yeah. In 1921. Yeah. I mean, so basically there were, they're saying that's the first fast food, but you know, they were saying also in the 1800s, there was a lot of smaller like noodle shops that mm -hmm. were in Asia and stuff. And that would be fast food. But the, our definition of yeah, like a, our definition a restaurant drive through, burger, not, well, not yeah. drive through people. Well, and, it's funny cause it started as like, obviously like a burger joint, but then in the forties drive through became a thing because with automobiles and everything. And mm -hmm. that led to um, the entire- Laziness. The, well, yeah, and the entire <laughs> industry, you would say like, you know, laziness, but also there was a lot of families who couldn't take their kids out to restaurants. So this would be an option for them to like eat out. A less expensive option. Yeah, and it also brought a lot of um, kind of jobs to the economy for like 16 year olds and stuff yeah. and having independence. But also I find it fascinating that it's such a nostalgic thing for my childhood and like probably yours where there's like a comfort in it and we know it's bad now and it's also yeah. convenient now, but mm -hmm. it's like when I think of when I was little, you know, the treats would be to get a happy meal. Or, Fast food was yeah. a treat. I was yeah. just gonna say the same thing. It's like, shut up and I'll get you. Well, not like that, but sometimes like that. <laughs> shut um, up and you'll get a happy shut meal. Shut up and you'll get a large fry instead of a small fry. And it's like, yeah, bitch. Yeah, yeah. I remember we would like, if you, it was kind of like a weekend type thing. Like we didn't get it during the weekend. I got unless, it every day. Did you really? I got I, big. We, we would, I got thick. I was like a thick milkshake. That would be my, my child uh, comparison. Your, your definition. I was a McFlurry that never, or what, McFlurry, Dairy Queen. That, Dairy Queen. Dairy I was, I was down. the thick boy Dairy Queen that never melted out. I was just thick. Dairy Queen, ice cream. There was Dairy Queen, there was Baskin Robbins. Baskin Robbins. This is just gonna be me feeling sad about all the things Ew. I can't have anymore. Oh, so the whole- um, Well, you can. I can't. You'll I just can. die. Um, my whole like tangent about the Frosty was to circle back to Wendy's, how uncomfortable I was that the meat was square. Dude, that's my favorite I, thing in the whole world. Hold I, on, wait, wait, no. oh, wait. <laughs> There's a stain on the ceiling. Wait, okay, sorry, I'm, I'm circling oh, back. Cause is. I was like, is that mustard? No, it's Is blood. that for me? Um, whoa. <laughs> I was gonna say, cause like Wendy's became my favorite. And we've talked about this. There's different levels of fast food. Sorry guys, that was you're not sorry. Not inappropriate. It was totally appropriate. But um there's different levels of fast food. So when we think about fast mm -hmm. food it's like McDonald's, Burger King, and Wendy's. And of that, um, almost in the pyramid of fast food, where that's like the core what we think about, Wendy's was my favorite. It was top tier. I that was top. Like when I got Wendy's, that was, and I remember my order. Like, I don't know if you order remember. It. What was your order? It Hi, was, welcome it was to a, Wendy's. It was what a, can I get for you? It was a number one, just ketchup, no cheese, iced tea, no lemon, biggie size. What's a number one? It's literally a hamburger with fries. <laughs> with a square meat. Yeah. It, but I lived for the square meat. And I'm mortified if anyone I know from like middle school finds this out because they probably 
have heard me order this and was like, oh my God, she's still that bitch. <laughs> she's still that square. Because I kind of live next bitch. to a Wendy's. I said too. Arby's, but it was Wendy's. Um, I don't understand why I was so uncomfortable by this, by uncomfortable because of the square meat. I it, it was just, beautiful. It was weird to me and I didn't understand. And what, as a child, I think, I don't know why I justified round meat as being Because normal. you didn't have an artistic mind. I did and not. I think I when you think super about- super dumb and basic and didn't understand shapes. Like, like the craftsmanship, which is why I was slightly more extensive than McDonald's, I'm sure, not because of the meat quality. No, it was just like a square cookie a, cutter instead well, of a round when one. When you think about when people make hamburgers they're like they roll it in the ball and they're like bullshit boom but this was so carefully crafted like they were like this is going to be a square guys like wendy had a meeting i'm wendy guessing and her cute little wendy, pigtails, wendy and all her, her executives freckles. they put on their 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 ginger thinking caps and they got in the room and they said hey guys in the room what would make us different than our two other competitors right now in the 80s yeah. and she was probably like let's make our round burgers on a round bun square so it sticks out and ah. you know you're getting a burger. I mean, when you put it that way, iconic. She was pushing the boundaries literally of the she burger. She was, and she, she was, was like, like 11. Yeah. She honestly was probably thinking, hey, and I don't think Wendy is real, so this is just me becoming her. Wendy, me, was in that meeting and she was like, you know what's square? Cheese. You know what isn't square? Meat. You know what's going to be square now? Meat. And she was like, no questions. But we're going to put the meat in the che in the cheese. Yeah. It's uh, all going to be off it's, kilter. It's like so it doesn't, yeah. Yeah. And then and then the burger becomes a mystery and you become so fascinated and intrigued that you want more because you're trying to discover what it means to be a square in a circle. I and mean, that and if, that is some society question. If you were if you had a commercial out, I would be all for it. But when I was eight. I was not happy. I think it. Wendy's in the Illuminati. <laughs> so I'm like, Wendy I'm just shocked she up. didn't do a uh, triangle, but you know, she, she That's did her thing. That's though. So it would it have to be a too, too big of a triangle. I don't it feel didn't like. bother me and it tasted really good. You know what? To be 100% honest, I don't think, I've never had one. I've never, I've never, the only thing I've ever ordered from Wendy's, the Frosty, the fries, the chili, because that chili is bomb. Have you ever had the chili? Nope. No oh, good. Chili um, makes me sicky. Oh, okay. Well, don't have the chili because it'll probably make you poop. Um, and the nuggets, because they they had chicken. <laughs> it does. <laughs> <laughs> Their chicken nuggets, they had spicy ones. Yeah, they did. And they were delicious. Yeah. No, Wendy's was bae. And I live next to a Wendy's, but the Wendy's is next to the Scientology place. And I'm a little bit nervous that they're intertwined. And they're oh. going to give me a burger with a profit message in it or something. Yeah, with like some... Alien message shit yeah. in there. Yeah. I mean, but I do remember research, you it's know, like research. Also, when we think about back then, um, you know, things were a little bit, it's like when you were little and you used to be able to play outside and, and there was no problems. And then going to McDonald's and Burger King and going in the play place where now like, you know, there's so many like nasty things yeah. in like Chuck E. Cheese where mm -hmm. there's kids shitting in it. And you're like, oh, I could have been in a ball pit full of shit, but I didn't know because that was totally normal. You definitely were in a ball yeah. pit full of shit and, and you didn't know it. the Burger King that I went to, the the play structure was in the middle, like a like an atrium. And so your parents could sit there and watch you climb to the top like you're in jail. Yeah. And you're in a tube and you're like, hi, mom. But I was, just threw up. But, <laughs> but it was like, hi. It was I'm open drinking air. a soda. It was no. open air, right? No, it was glass. Oh, it's like you're, so in, a you're in a fish tank. You're of in a doom monkey tank. Of you're like, germs. Uh, yeah, and, and it's just <laughs> like the hamster you cage. eat your mini burger, and you're like, I'm the monkey. And then you go and vomit, then the, and then the you climb. Pit. Yeah, and you smell like burnt rubber because everything was covered in in mats. Gross. Yeah. I mean, looking back on the things we did as children, I'm super surprised that we're still alive. First yeah. of all, because we did some crazy dumb shit as kids. I mean, I know I did. Me and my brothers did really inappropriate, crazy, we yeah. should be dead kind of things. Um, but just germs in general. Yeah. I mean, I didn't do anything inappropriate. I had a penny, but like, I didn't do we, anything. I mean, inappropriate, like, yeah, we light like things on jumping fire. On shit and, and, yeah. I mean, I lit things on fire, but it was very <laughs> secret, so. We don't need to expose everything. Yeah, but when I look back also, 
those were kind of some of the best times. We're like oh, being absolutely, in a ball pit. And absolutely. And not, not, not living in fear. And now everyone's like afraid of everything. So yeah. you don't want your kids to do anything, which I understand. I mean, safety. your kids can't even go and play in their yard. I mean, yeah. From watching very numerous episodes of true crime on YouTube, I've realized that you can turn your back and your kid can be gone. So absolutely. I'm like, I'm like one, not having kids Two, they ain't playing in the yard. <laughs> I'm just going to have a baby Yoda doll and, and we're good. that's it. But what I also kind of find interesting is like the nostalgia aspect of where we grew up, because I know like for you, you lived on the West coast and I lived on the East mm -hmm. coast. So things were like, what different. was native to our, yeah. our fast food land. And also some of them intertwine now because I know things growing up that were on the East coast that were never here. And now they're here. And I'm like, fuck you guys. You don't deserve um, this. Dunkin' Donuts. Yes. We never Dunkin's, had that. That's Dunkin's new. was our shit. Dunkin's was my life. Like I, what are some other things on the East coast that we don't have here? Um, I think I have a list. We have we have Carl's Jr. I we know had, on the East Coast is Hardee's, well, but it's the same thing. It's just a different name. So I mean, we had all the basics. We had McDonald's. We had um, Wendy's, Burger, Burger King. King. Um, we had very smaller places, and then there were certain places that I had seen, but I never went into. There was like Bajangles. That sounds it was terrible. Wawa Burger. There's a place, and it's a chicken place, and it's in the South, and it has like a lot of Z's and Y's in it. Z -Z 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 that's there's, right. There's right. also that. Biscuitville in the South, which I would like to go I to. I love biscuits. Well, when I went to Alabama, <laughs> I, I went to Zaxby's Zats Chicken for the first Zags time. Zags Zaxby's Zaxby's Zags Zaxby's. We oh yes. Zaxby's yes that place. I was, we were talking about the z -Z oh, wide man. like the sign on the yeah. freeway. We literally <laughs> got off the plane and went there, and my life was changed forever. It's and so I the biscuits and the chicken. It's like fried chicken, right? Yeah. Or it's, all kinds of chicken? I don't remember. It was we delicious. don't know. We just put it in our mouth. It was but delicious. For me, growing up, my staples were Dunkin' Donuts, you know, McDonald's. Did Dunkin' Donuts, because oh, I know for us it's newer, but I always thought it was just coffee and donuts. Did they always have food? They had food. Yeah. They had like cookies and like little paste. That's not food. Like, like I don't know um, what they have now because I haven't been on the They have on like the West bagel Coast. sandwich. They have like breakfast oh, yeah, they had type those, foods, yeah. but it's not like burgers and fries kind of. Place. No, 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 no. More like pastries I don't know. and Do sweets. they have that now? Um, they have like little, um, they have like crust, like sandwich kind of things, but That's it's still fine. very like deli. Bakery. I mean, we gave you the full experience in Boston. Yes, I got like, like our the, Salem. I mean, in Salem, you, like this is what you order. This yeah. is how you order it. That was how I got turned uh, to coffee. Yeah. I never really had, well, it wasn't really coffee. It was like sugary with yeah. a splash of coffee, but delicious. Yeah. Loved it. I mean, pumpkin spice, pumpkin spice. iced coffee. Yes, which was weird because it was in August, but we, we don't but it was, judge yeah, because we that's don't, what we like. We take it where we can get it. But, you know, there was those kind of things, but I basically had what everyone else had. And then there was like the chain restaurants. I'm sure you had like Chili's yeah. and then we had- Fridays. But did you guys have the 99? No. Did you have, uh, what was it called? I wrote it down. Um, Bugaboo Creek? No, that sounds very interesting that was though. Litty titty. It had a moose on the wall and it would talk to you while you eat your chicken fingers. Bugaboo fingers. Creek. Yes. What is it? Was it like Friday's? It, like was, it was literally like the Outback Steakhouse. Okay. But it was a little bit more rustic. And all I remember is because you know my eating habits, you know how I skin corn dogs. Yes. I would get these chicken fingers and the batter would be so good. I would leave the chicken and eat the Just batter. Eats the crunchy bits. Yep. That was disgusting. <laughs> um, and then there was oh, this healthy. other place called Bertucci's, which I hope to God it is still in the mall of New Hampshire. Is it like Italian is fast it food? It's, no, I mean, it's fast-ish. It's like kind of like a Chili's thing, but Italian. And you go the in- quick service kind it's of It's nice pizza. Like you can go in for an hour. But the rolls were um, the oh. rolls. The rolls were iconic, but there was a little bit of controversy because- Basically, what they would do in the back is if they dropped dough, they would um, put it- would turn it, to rolls? No, they would. They should throw it in the trash, but they would put it in this little package. And when you're, you would have kids, they would give you the dough to play with. But the kids would eat the oh, dough. the floor dough. Oh. Because they were like, oh, we can sculpt a, a donkey or we could put this in our mouth because we're waiting for our food. Yeah, and so it was that, floor dough. That was a little bit- uh, I mean- you shouldn't eat raw dough, so yeah. there's that. So they probably were assuming that like parents would be like, no, Billy, that's raw, don't eat that. But, Billy, that but, doesn't <laughs> go in your mouth, that goes in the trash can. But, you just brought me back to the nostalgia of mall, mall food. Mall food, like food it's, courts? It's still technically fast, it's fast food, it's just not our idea of like a drive through fast food. Yeah. What are your top mall food court food spots? Cinnabon. Cinnabon, okay. Sbarro. 
So I was just going to say Sabara. Which I didn't know how to pronounce until last year. I thought it was S Bara. Because <laughs> I was getting too into the letters and Sabara. Sabara. And then I thought it was like Sabara. Like it just Sabara. like it's a very subtle S where it's just not there. It's almost like an apostrophe. It's like, just Sabara. It's a borrow. Yeah. Silent S. My favorite thing to get at Sabara Pizza was the Big City. Ew. With the ro- Ew. Did you ever have the big I had the pizza. It's the big ziti with the garlic rolls and a slice of cheese pizza. I didn't eat it all. Well, that makes for some good breath. But <laughs> my breath was stinky, but my belly was happy. Yeah. I mean. And then hot dog on a stick because I, I love will, a good corn dog. I will go because I don't go to malls anymore unless I really have to. But yeah. when I go to the Glendale Galleria and I walk through the food court and one, they have a Dunkin Donuts in there. But two, it's like even the smells just make me happy. Like. Smelling Mrs. Fields cookies oh, and God. and weird noodles and I know that I shouldn't have any of them and I walk right by and and go to JC Penney's from um, Nasty Pants. <laughs> Not really, I don't do that. That's gross. I never walk right by a Cinnabon. I don't even ever. think they have one. Yeah, but it just brings back even when we're in airports. There, yeah. Like when when we went to Toronto and like Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons. And, and it just which, brings so much memories back to when I used to go to. Canada all the time. Can I tell you that I found so many gift cards and now Tim Hortons has an app. I have $54 in Tim Hortons <sighs> gift cards. It's burning a hole in my phone app. So next time we go to Let's, Canada, we can buy so many little tiny donuts. I wonder if we could Postmates it how long it would take. Yeah, I don't think we'd want it. No. It's going to be like our creepy treats. They've been sitting there for a very long it's time. It's congealed. It's not going to be congealed as good. donuts. Okay, so... Um, this is Let's Get Spooky, and we are talking about fast Nasty food horror shit. stories where it just turned us yeah. talking about like going down we memory lane. The thing is, it's like everything in moderation, and, and we yes. do want to bring to light that fast food does a lot of good for some people, even though it can fuck you up physically, mentally. Um, if you buy a lot of it mon- money-wise, you can yeah. just... Well, you're right, because I would say that there was a time where People kind of got on their high horse about fast food and how you shouldn't have it. It's super bad for you, which a lot of fast food is bad for you. But I do remember one thing McDonald's did and they took it away and I don't understand why. And they made these things called salad shakers. Do you remember (gasps) salad shakers? It was in a cup and it had, it was like. That taught me how to make cocktails. (laughs) It was like that, but the the cup for the milkshake, but it has a closing on top. So you would get your salad and it was a chicken Caesar or whatever kind of salad. You put your dressing in, put the lid on, and then you would shake it and you would eat it. And it was like one of my favorite things ever. And then they got rid of it. I just liked having it in a cup. And I also remember it was instinctually when I went to KFC and got popcorn chicken. And oh, it, was in like a, chicken. it was in like a popcorn thing. And I'd still shake it like an asshole. And I'm like, is this working for me? Yes. And I didn't know why, but it was like instinctual because of the salad. Yeah. Salad shakers were my jam. And McDonald's still has like... It's the same salad, but it's in a regular flat, it's not like the plastic same. container. And when you shake it, it's just not the same. So we don't, don't want an alien saucer. We want a, a shaker. I want a cup, and I could put it in my cup holder. Yeah, we want to eat salad in the desert, on out the of road, a cup, in the dark parking lot of Walmart, wherever we feel. We don't even need a fork. We could just yeah, you could you could pour it you in your mouth, sip it. So I feel like salad shakers. That was a very Strange tangent. Yeah, um, but now we're going to go dark. <laughs> now we're going to go dark. Have you had any personal horror stories, fast food horror stories? I was thinking about this, and for a while I I realized that my brain went blank until I was literally here thinking about it, and I forgot that Dunkin' Donuts was considered fast food, but I had, because I used to drink, I started drinking coffee when I was seven. I would recommend it um, because I'm, <laughs> That's why you I'm don't a, sleep. I'm awesome now. I'm great. <laughs> but I had this one cause I'd always get an iced coffee because it was still kind of like watered down. And it was the thing with New Hampshire was, was there wasn't a lot of shit around, but there was about 14 Dunkin' Donuts in the neighborhood. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. And the honey So you could be choosy. You could be like, the one on Rockingham Road has good cookies, but bad coffee. But the one on Mammoth has good coffee and shitty muffins. But so, it's the same recipe. No, like they're no, doing no, no. The everyone same. makes it different. Because when you have an order and they put different fucking sugar in it, you know that Jim Bob's making it or Sally Timmy. Sue. Timmy from the block. So <laughs> from the block. I went, they had a new one <laughs> pop up right next to my doctor. And I was like, let me try this. And uh, when I got my coffee, thankfully I opened it up because I shook it and was like, hot coffee? Cold. Cold coffee. And 
because I like everything cold. I was like, God damn, there's not a lot of ice cubes in this. And I shook it. We know you love ice. And I opened it. And what do I see floating at the top is a big hairy moth. And thank God I didn't sip that up through my straw because when you get an extra large, the the thing is like massive. It's like a boba straw. Yeah, they're like, you just guzzle this. You don't even sip it. Like insert suck that little hairy moth yeah, right you might up as that well straw. Stick it in your belly button and just <laughs> fucking breathe deeply because it just goes. Poor moth, like a big like tiger moth, a big like old a, dead one, like oh. a, a fuzzy one. He was blonde, <laughs> I would say, not tan, but blonde. Found its demise yes. at the new Dunkin' Donuts. Yes, it was a mm. murder scene that I wasn't, you know, ready for. Did you take him out and give him a proper burial? No, I went back in. And I was like, bitches, there's a moth in my drink. You were seven? I was pissed. No, I was about nine. Oh. But I, by then I had a personality and I was like, what the fuck? And I showed my mom because I wasn't driving through the drive thru. <laughs> yeah. I was like, mom. When she was, things escalated very quickly in your childhood. Yeah. She was drinking no, coffee she was, at seven, driving at nine. <laughs> someone had to shut me up and it was coffee. But I was like, mom, there is a moth in my drink. And she was mortified because that was like $3 down her drain and yeah. she didn't get it fixed. Yeah. So. You yeah, that was caused a ruckus. Yeah, I mean, I've never had metal shards in my mouth, but I would say a moth is worse. Moth in the in the iced coffee is pretty bad. Um, iced mine, mothy. <laughs> it's the new. It's the Halloween beverage. It's the iced mothy. You would probably love it since you love eating. I do. Bugs. I do. I don't know about a moth. Like those are cool. Furry ones. They need to be free in the air. So I would feel sad if it was dead in my drink. Um, so my horror stories. I have two. One. My first one is. Not technically a fast food joint. It's kind of like a, it's called Islands, which you didn't have on no. the East Coast. It's like a um, surfer kind of burger joint, burgers and fries. Uh, we were joking earlier and you was like Tommy Bahama. And I was yeah. like, pretty much Tommy Bahama threw up in there. It's very like surfer beach. There's like beadboard on the walls and shit. Yeah. Nautical. And there's, it, it's cool. It's like a cool little surfer joint. They have Is really good food. Around? They still have them. Um, they have, there's one in Long That's Beach. Cool. Um, I mean, I don't know if you're going to want to go after you hear my story, but so we used to go there after like soccer games or like birthday parties. So we were there and used to order French fries in a basket. You didn't get like, you get them on the side of your burger or sandwich, but you get like a fry basket for the table. So we order our fry basket. It comes, everyone's eating. I go to reach for a French fry and right on top, sitting right there, was a French fry with a nice little Band-Aid wrapped around it. Was it was probably injured. <laughs> it was a very sad herd French fry. Maybe um, someone saw ketchup on it. It was like, oh my God, it's bleeding. We got to put a bandage on it before we give it to the customers. Well, I mean, I was, at first I was like, oh, maybe they missed it. But it was literally, and it wasn't like, um, like, skinny fries they were like boy fry. thick fries so they had to put effort into the wrap to how how the band-aid got around yeah. the thick fry i don't understand but it was it was like a little bit partially fried so it definitely was in it before they went into the oh. fryer and so we got our whole meal paid for which was very nice of them because a lot of the times they're just like well let me give you a new one and you're yeah. like well if you put band-aids in your fries was it a clean band-aid did you look at it um it was kind of fried so you couldn't yeah, but really could you slip it off and be like oh there's blood on i that mean band-aid. i didn't want to do that i would have i didn't do that we just sent it back and got new fries they were delicious we still ate them and then they paid for our whole meal so it was great but this one's worse and this one i was a little hesitant but i'm gonna say it anyway for the show so it's a frosty story. And uh, I it's was- It's okay, I've moved on to Starbucks, <laughs> I'm fine. You have to try the, the I feel like In-N-Out shakes are better than Frosties anyway, so it's fine. So as a child, you get the little frosty, like the little- yeah, the little the little, one. little one. Yeah. And I had my straw in it and my spoon because you eat it with a spoon at the beginning. Yeah, and then and as it gets you melty- you double fist it. You're like, well, I'm just gonna go yeah. through each side. So once I moved on from using the spoon to drinking from the straw, drink through the straw and I'd like do that. Like something's not right. And there was a hair in it that got sucked up through the straw, but I had swallowed part of the hair as I tasted it in my mouth. So I take the straw out and then I had to pull the hair. Like you could feel it coming out of your throat. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, ew, and, which is crazy because but I've eaten things that I find <laughs> hair on, but it's different if it's your own hair. No, well, it wasn't my Usually hair. Usually it's my own hair, and I'm not I've eaten by that. things with other people's hairs on it. I just pull the hair out, and I'm like, this was very, like. What if they had lice? Well, no, no, no. Or dandruff? Well, I mean, they're little hairs. Like, I went to Air One or whatever when I was working. Or in, pubes. Cameron said pubes. No, nasty. Th- you can tell what a pube looks like. It's different <laughs> shapes. But. Um, <laughs> Wait, I went, you went to where? Air One. It's like this place in, there's like one in Santa Monica or close to it that I went to lunch because. It's my fast f- food? 
No, no, no. It's like uh, thirty dollars for a salad. Oh, like but a it, fancy it's, restaurant. It's, like a, it's not a restaurant. That's what's crazy. It's kind of like I'm so confused. <sighs> it's very confusing. It's like a very uh, health centric fast-ish food place where you go when you just do yoga with your like friend from Beverly Hills and you need a salad. It's so like I a went, quick service. Quick service, $30 salad. You have Stupid. your AirPods in, you look like a dipshit. <laughs> so you go there and I went there and I got this $20 salad and lo and behold, stick it out of my tomato is a little blonde hair. And I was like, yo, 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 I ain't blonde. <laughs> but I wasn't about to complain because I was so I broke at the time. I would complain. No, I was just like. They just give you a new one. No, I was scared. They all look at you like you shouldn't be there. And I was, I looked like I came out of a mosh pit. I'd be like, yo, I just paid $30 for the salad and some, you're whoever the yeah. blonde lady is, her hair is in my salad. I want a new clean one. But you have to ask nicely because if you ask poorly or rudely, um, there's probably going to be a lot more than hair in your next salad, like yeah. spit, like jizz. or jizz, or which was a floor, which was a rumor tomatoes. at the Olive Garden in uh, New Hampshire at a certain point, Wait, where they what? would like they would um, in the Italian dressing. Yeah, I feel like I must have told you. No, this. I just no, I just had a really was, bad it was like image. the Olive Garden. There was Olive Garden, and there was just I don't know if it was proven or not, the but there was a dressing. rumor. I know it's good, and you dip those breadsticks, and yeah, you're like, it's so good. but I think maybe that's where they got the idea. And they were like, "Where's like the breadstick in there?" <laughs> but um. <laughs> <laughs> and they, there was this big old rumor where like the Italian dressing had like semen in it. No, uh, I mean, but you know what? They made you wait for an hour in an empty establishment for a seat. At least when I went, so I was like, "You better give me some." And you know bread the, the the bread is like doesn't take long. The salad no. they literally dump it into a bowl. They don't even mix it yeah. for you. But I elevated myself to Cheesecake Factory, and that is the light of my life. And so. if anyone says anything bad about Cheesecake Factory, you can factory. go to hell. You can go to Baja Fresh if you don't like Cheesecake Factory. We don't care. That shit's Nobody gross. Nobody likes Baja Fresh. Nobody likes Baja Fresh. They give you seven chips. Are you kidding me? I love how one of my favorite things, not to go on another tangent, but um, when some celebrities are showing you the inside of their house, and there's these giant mansions just like, Weird yellow walls, weird um, light fixtures. And I'm like, where have I seen that before? The Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. Hopefully he never sees this, but Jeffree Star's new house, I happened to see it on YouTube and I was like, that's Cheesecake Factory decorations. Like, holy shit. It's the, verbatim Cheesecake Nation. The one cheesecake, well, I don't know if they're all like this. The one by Disneyland has those lamps yeah, that people say it looks like the Lord of the Rings like light, but oh, then yeah. other people say it looks like vaginas. Yeah, no, they're everywhere. Are they all, are all they're cheesecake everywhere. factories? Everywhere. The same? Oh. I think we do a Cheesecake Factory world tour. If that means we get to have bread at every Cheesecake Factory. I'm down. I'm down. You know I, I do need. it virtually. Yes, you know I, know I do it in person. You know she I do it. She buys the brown bread. I buy at the, the brown store. bread if I can't go because I haven't gone in a bit because I'm like busy, but. It's always like <laughs> she got brown bread on and hands. You know what? Cheesecake factories are kind of hard to find. Well, cheesecake factories are usually in areas that are very busy, like the one we've been, the Pasadena one. Um, yes. The the Disneyland one's always busy. There's one Any, in Glendale. Oh, it's not too far. When I go to the Galleria, I <laughs> get I myself a piece of cheesecake. But sad thing. Cheesecake has dairy, and I can't eat the cheesecake anymore. I which, swear to God, I'm not going to hang out with you anymore. Just, you're no fun. Um, just because I can't have dairy. Excuse me. But listen, Cheesecake just Factory. Just have the shits. <laughs> I'll have a lot more than the shits. Cheesecake Factory should be on top of their game. They should definitely have a vegan option of cheesecake. I you are the do. cheesecake. They do not. I have asked. I have asked multiple times. I have asked the manager. Look at the nachos then. The nachos oh, wait, they have, have cheese on cheese it. on them. Jesus Christ. Well, I'll dine alone. I'm just gonna bring my own cheesecake well, and ask for their cracker toppings. Cracker barrels looks. Oh, we also we love a good cracker barrel. Yeah, which is yeah. not technically fast food, but they do serve the food very fast. So we're gonna loop it into. So do I, but I'm not a fast food establishment. I just microwave everything. Coming over, you're getting soggy shit. Uh, okay. Um, what are we talking we, about? Next? Well, we were gonna talk about because you you found things in your shit. I found things in my shit, and I had a list of things that people found in their shit. Yeah, we it was not of kosher. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of shit and a lot of things. So the, the downside of this, this is great. 
fast food horror stories is great, but we are ruining fast food for ourselves and all other people. And Cameron and I were talking about this and he's like, ah, you know, those things that I don't want to hear. And the thing for me is, although I did the research on this episode, if you ask me, do you want like some McDonald's French fries or do you want to go get like a Subway sandwich? Yeah. yeah. I'd be like, yeah, I do. Yeah, so yeah. if you're like me, you're not going to have a problem hearing all of these things. So do you want to start off Maybe and we can go back and forth? Yeah, or? let's do one and one. Like okay. we'll see who has nastier shit. Um, someone found human blood in a Taco Bell taco. How did they know? Uh, because it tasted like iron and they realized it was blood. What? But confirmed? Yes. Confirmed. Okay. That sucks. Like it was oozing out or? Like you like were bleeding? Like they found literal human blood. Like it wasn't like a, a big old. Oh, like Uzi. someone like, cut their finger and yeah, got blood yeah, in the taco. Yeah. And then they're like, wow, this tastes a lot like blood. Which we all know what, like when you bite, you know you what it tastes. You know what yeah. it tastes like. Um, yeah, that sucks. Mm. So uh, I have uh, chicken nuggets about McDonald's. So there's chicken nuggets, there's spicy and juicy wings, and there's also heady chicken. So a woman finds in her chicken nuggets. <laughs> it does sound dirty. It's not, it's not as exciting as it sounds. Um, she found a whole chicken's head deep fried in her container of nuggets. Wouldn't you know if you worked there and it was looking back at you with a beak? It had a beak and it had eyes. She said she could see the beak and eyes. I don't know if she had to take the breading off of it to see that, um, but there was a whole thing in there. And so she goes in, cause she's obviously like upset that there's a decapitated chicken in her yeah. nuggets. And uh, they offer her a refund or another set of nuggets or a fresh set of nuggets. And she's like, no, thank you. I don't want any more chicken heads, but. Well, McDonald's for is nothing. not having a good track record because going back in time, someone found a condom in a McDonald's burger in 1999. So some of these things, like a chicken head in the nuggets. It's a, it's a chicken. You're eating a chicken. Sometimes some, it giblets didn't pass are giblets. <laughs> someone wasn't doing their... Yeah. I always picture the episode of I Love Lucy when they're working on the chocolate, the conveyor belt. Like someone looked the other way when yeah. that nugget went across and it, yeah. it slid through the Ooh, inspection. Yeah, the head. <laughs> but, um, a condom and a burger. That was on purpose. That was probably on purpose. There was actually multiple. Oh, probably. That there was were, absolutely on purpose. There were multiple. When I was looking these up, there was multiple condom scenarios. There was condoms in a French fry thing, which I was like, my whole notes can't be condoms because clearly people were horny in the 90s. But it was all in the <laughs> 90s. Like the everyone trash. found. No, I'm like, it doesn't look like lettuce or bacon. What the fuck and are you putting in there? how did it get? Yeah, unless your factory, like your factory was next to the Trojan condom factory, that's no. I think it was used. Ew, uh, why? Maybe they yeah. thought it was a pickle. I don't know. No. Yeah, they gotta make those yeah, things. Yeah, someone, it was a purpose, purposeful condom burger. So that was a fun McDonald's moment. What do you have next? Um, oh, this is one of my favorites. In Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, a McDonald's restaurant was serving Happy Meals with a side of heroin. Ooh. Ooh. Good side of heroin. So um, that's the prize, I yeah. guess. But that's an adult meal. I mean, if you're going to be a drug dealer and you're going to be putting your drugs in Happy Meals, wait, drive through drug dealer. <gasps> I get it. Okay. Wait, Got what it. did you think? I don't know. I just thought they like, you know, pulled the wrong shit out of the wrong pocket. Oh, instead of the like toy, they put yeah. the heroin baggie in yeah. there. Um, so I don't, un I don't know. I don't even know what heroin if it comes in a bag or if it comes. He, is it a syringe? I mean, it's, I he said bags. The person said it came in like bags. But what I think happened is someone um, tipped him off and then the police came through the drive through and ordered. So they were ordering the Happy Meal a certain way. Happy so like meal. a Happy Meal with the side of mustard and blah, 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 whatever yeah. it is that they said. And mm -hmm. that meant you're going to get heroin. Yeah. And so the police went through and ordered the special Happy Meal and it came with heroin. <gasps> and then he was arrested. I mean, that's a thing. Like there's so many code words for. Seems smart though. Drugs, like even like. That documentary that I told you to watch. Um, oh, the one I haven't watched. Code secrets for words. And that's yeah. how they find things out. And I'm just kind of like, oh, the word pizza means that, eh? But I feel like he was just a drum, a drum, a dumb, a, a dumb drug dealer. Because I feel like if I was going to be the drug dealer putting drugs in the Happy Meals, which I'm not a drug dealer and I would never do that, mm -hmm. um, I would have a very like rock solid way of making sure that there could be no mistake. Like no one could I accidentally would, order that. I would just not do drug deals at work. That's probably smart. But if you were. Like why do it through the drive-thru when you can go to someone's back shed? Like what the fuck? Because multitasking sometimes is convenient. Yeah. Like I get it. I, but. Some people who work at McDonald's don't have the busiest Google calendars. And I would very, 
much like to see theirs if it is, because what the fuck are they doing? You can't drop off the heroin after your shift. That's disgusting. Um, Someone, so have you ever eaten at Costco? Oh, I think think you're literally going to say, yes, I love Costco. Does it? Yeah. Yeah. I was literally I mean, we just can share this it. one. No, you but, go. You go. Well, because I was going to say, um, someone had been telling me, because like, I've never eaten at Costco. It's the thing. Like, I don't go. I don't eat there. Um, but someone was telling me how good the Costco pizza was. Mm-hmm. And so I have this whole, like, this $1 pizza. I have this whole, like, imaginary world where I'm like, Costco food is so great. And then this guy I found mean, bullets not and great. hot dogs. Yeah, there was a 9 millimeter bullet in one of the Costco dogs. Um, so hot I, dogs, it'll shoot you I, dead. This, this story that I heard was, it was a woman. And, um, so this is the crazy thing is like, you hear these stories and then they get reposted on other uh, websites and blogs and other people are talking about and making videos. So the story that I heard is the woman ate the hot dog and she had braces. Oh, so fuck. she thought that she like felt something metal and she just assumed one of her brackets one of, of her, her things, braces yeah. that she swallowed. Um, and so I was telling Cameron the story and he's like, she, she actually swallowed it. She didn't like actually she bite into it. And I said, no, she swallowed it. Cause she thought it was a braces, which first of all, maybe it was like down the it's hatch already. And she couldn't braces. tell. So she ha- ends up getting an x-ray and they x-rayed. There was a nine millimeter, which I'm assuming she pooped out. And I, to I was going to say it all comes out <laughs> like a penny as I know, which is unfortunate, but you only paid like a dollar 19 for that hot dog and you got a soda with it. So can you really come? Well, you can come. Have you, you've heard about speaking of dollar items, you've heard about um, Jack in the box and their tacos, right? Um, I've heard lots of things one dollar, about them. I mean, it's like two for a dollar and I, you know, there was, there was a lot of issues with the meat. They said like it was what, soy. There was they didn't like, know what the fuck it yeah. was, but I think it's soy, isn't it? Mm, I don't think it was before that. I think it was kangaroo meat or something. Like there was some weird shit <laughs> going down. It's a little but, hard to get. But everyone's like, because their tacos are one of their highest selling products. Because and, you get two for a dollar. It's Jack in the Box, and they taste like shit. Like I got so sick from them, and They're I live so good. I guess I live next to everything because I also live <laughs> next to a Jack in the Box. I live in fast food land, but I had them. And I got so sick from them, but they're, it's literally one of their highest, like they make like $50 million or whatever from the fucking tacos every year. The, so it's this thing that it's either cat food, soy yeah, it's meat, like you kangaroo don't know meat, what we don't know what it is. is. Um, I don't eat, I don't have dairy anymore or have meat anymore. So I don't I have don't them anymore. I don't even, but I'm pretty sure it's soy. I don't I know. I could be wrong. Don't quote me. I don't know what it was. I ate it though. And you didn't like it? It was weird. I mean, I like them, but, but you I was shouldn't desperate. have them. Th- those are definitely not good for you when you don't know what it's made of. Um, it's super greasy because it's literally the taco shell. They put a slice of American cheese in it. They yeah. deep fry it. That it's, could literally, though, be some weird shit. Like, that could be like, hey, uh, that was human brains. And I wouldn't know because it was so weird. It wasn't a substance that I ever put in my mouth before. It looks like cat food. Yeah. If I, I've never eaten cat food, but it was I feel those like push it was, ups that you bought me. <laughs> it's the, it's the cat food push ups. Um, okay. What else do I have? Oh, I have Arby's. Did you ever eat at Arby's? Um, I never no. really liked Arby's. No, is it the one with the big stupid hat on the yes. logo? And they, it's like roast I've beef. Never, I was very selective as a, a child, as a very obese child, I was slightly selective with the, all the things I put in my mouth to so know. So in Dayton, Ohio, a customer discovered a piece of human flesh in his sandwich. And my question was, how did you know that was human flesh? Because if you just, if you just ate it and like. Does it say what piece of flesh? So they. Because um, if it was a, a butt piece, it would be chewier than a finger piece. They investigated and the manager had sliced his thumb open while shredding the lettuce. And rather than discarding the contaminated lettuce, he left it in there and just put a bandaid on his finger. So the fortunate customer that came in and ordered the sandwich with the finger lettuce got a chunk of skin in there. And everyone's like, cut your finger or whatever, pulled off a piece of skin. Like it's not the end of the world, but when it's a stranger's skin, that's nasty. Ooh, that could be like the prequel to Stranger Things, Stranger Skins. Str- and it's just in like an establishment and you, you're like, Shreds. what am I going to get today, Johnny? And it's like, I don't know, man. And you bite it and you're like, we're safe. Or like no. when you're not safe, you no. get the human skin, you go the upside down. You get down. the finger skin. Yeah. I, nobody wants the finger skin. I also, 
I looked into, because I went down the rabbit hole of not only fast food, but like items that we eat that are kind of also fast, but packaged. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was one instance where someone found a tooth in their Milky Way bar in Texas. I love Milky Way. I do too. But the thing is, and I was thinking about it originally, and I got it confused with Snickers because Snickers has nuts in it. And I would say, hey, someone thought it was a nasty old yellow haggle tooth and it's a nut. But no, it's this is a crunchy Milky peanut. Way is some nougat or whatever the fuck it's, it's called. Nougat with smooth and creamy caramel. 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 <laughs> what just happened right there? I had a stroke. Uh, <laughs> but a tooth. <laughs> is it caramel or caramel? I say caramel, but I, say I, wanted, caramel. I wanted to sound more intellectual. Caramel sounds that fancier. It just looked like I had a very big mind gap. You just said a yellow nut something. Nugget. Yellow nut nugget. And yeah. Then <laughs> yellow nut Like a tooth. <laughs> I don't know, yellow nut nugget. That doesn't sound appetizing, but finding a Ugh. tooth in your Milky Way is also unappetizing. And yeah. I would say whoever bit into someone else's tooth, that's you know how like I a, feel about that's teeth. a makeout session you didn't intend for. You did not. You did not. He probably sign didn't up brush when it fell out. He's probably like, get this. I when mean, the conveyor belt. So okay, earlier we were talking about nails and how sometimes you break a nail or yeah. a nail falls off and then you can't find it. It's which happens. it goes under your stove and then you find which it happened. again. I, I dropped it and I was like, oh yeah. my God, I can't find it anywhere. And then like an hour later, I stepped on, I'm like, oh, there it is. So <laughs> I feel like things falling into things while you're cooking or prepping is, is bound to happen. And unless you're being 100% like paying attention to what's happening, if your nail fell off or if you're, if your tooth fell out of your yeah. mouth, I feel like you probably notice. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it depends on like, your oral hygiene. Happy meal <laughs> with the, the heroin. heroin. <laughs> happy meal. If it's like a road trip, like I'm gonna get the tooth, I'm gonna get the, the heroin. I'm gonna get the heroin happy meal. So I have another drug one because you know why not? So in um, Jacksonville, Florida, which of course it was Florida. Oh, I got some Florida stores <laughs> coming at you. Real this soon. is called. I named this one the BK Pill Pusher. Ooh. But it didn't have that name. It had a boring name, so Sounds I changed it. Sounds like a it. beverage. <laughs> so two customers found hydrocodone in their food. I don't so know what that is. It's, um, it's a painkiller. Like if you, when I got my wisdom oh. teeth pulled, they gave me hydrocodone. I can't take that stuff because it's too strong. Yeah. But it, apparently it's blue. I don't remember Wait, it being blue. I have had that because it made me, when I got my foot surgery, I... Was had, it blue? Yes, because I remember throwing up and it was fucking nasty. I and, can't have it. It makes me sick too. So. Yeah. But I, I, I think I had a different... Mine was white, but it was the same kind of thing, a painkiller. So a woman goes through and she gets either a burger and then a man goes through and gets a chicken sandwich. And as they bite in, there's a, a pill in their, like smashed into their food. So they bit into it obviously in the right spot to yeah. see it. So um, the new employee uh, pled guilty to two felony charges of uh, poisoning food with intent to kill. First of all, Florida man story. Yeah. You are not going to kill someone with one pill. I mean, you could. If they're allergic to it, but like well, if you're I trying guess to with, kill with someone, that substance, no, you just like make them numb. Maybe he was know, stupid. That kind of that's dumb. That's I mean, like the, the heroin that's, that's guy. That's kind of like a lazy way to try to kill. Like I remember there was this story about a guy and he put um, cyanide in pixie sticks. And that is like enough to kill like four people in one mm -hmm. pixie stick. But that's like, you know, the cyanide. If, if you're putting a fucking pill in a burger, just one. If it's not, if he like crushed them up and like mixed them in the meat and it was a lot, yeah. then yeah, you could probably. If he did his chef duties for well, fuck's sake, he clearly didn't do a very good job because he two, he did it for two people and they both yeah. saw it and then he went to jail. So yeah. poor craftsmanship. Yeah, guys. that was if not you're very murder, well thought through. You better make your burger patty square and <laughs> discreet, and you better ground. You better go talk them. to Wendy because she knows what the fuck's you going on. You and Wendy on. need to have a morning meeting. Mm -hmm. Um, and then there was also. At Popeyes, which I don't really go to Popeyes. I think I've had Popeyes like once or twice before in my life, and it's pretty good. It's just fried chicken, but yeah, it's not like anything found, crazy. Someone found fried mice in their chicken, though. No, like on, like fried, cute little baby, yeah, like little mice. toes, all fried toes, but the whole Aww. thing. And you're like, oh shit, that's a mouse, that's, a mice. That's that's a mouse. That is a that is two mice. <laughs> two to be exact. Two mice sees. Yeah, I don't really go to Popeyes though, so I feel like I'm safe. Yeah, that's, I mean, but again, that is a thing that I could see happening. Like, I'm a little like cute. Like, it just falls a in. Cute, 
Well, no, like it's he could like be in the kitchen. Suicide. I mean, I've seen some rats in some establishments. Yeah. It could have been running past the fryer and it was greasy and it yeah, slipped. Yeah, and he took a dunk. And usually the mice, they're like, they go in trails, so they all take the same route. So if one was taking a dangerous route, maybe. they all followed and they fell in. And Maybe that food smelled good, too. It's curious. Maybe. I would. Oh, there was also another, st- I closed my notes like we're done. We're not done. We're not done. <laughs> <laughs> there was a woman, so... Uh, after doing like the fast food drive through stories of people finding things in their food, there was a list of like the craziest things that employees have ever encountered. Ooh. And some of these were like finding weird things, but other of them, others were very real things. Like one lady said that she'd worked at this restaurant. I don't think it was a fast food. They didn't say which one for five months and they never changed the fry oil. Five uh, months. They're just frying things in it. Every day, never Where cleaning was it, it out. Because sometimes didn't say. that's a country thing. It didn't say, so I hope it was in another country. Um, I feel like there's a definitely standards. No, like a country thing. Oh, like, like country. Not, not like, like another country. Like it's down like, in the country. Like country, because it tastes We change better. it when we need to. But Which that's is not never. all the time. <laughs> Five months? I mean, maybe it. I feel like that's the thing. Maybe it's to, like distilling it, like whiskey. No, it's not. I like, don't know. Think about it's it's a open container, meaning there's like dust and yeah. particles and people. Maybe spit. they got a pool cover that goes over it at night. Even if they do, would you eat French fries? That, well, I guess you would eat them because well, you wouldn't know. The shit. They probably. Cameron they said probably they probably taste, taste really, really good. Freaking good. I mean, oh. I ah. guess I just don't want to know. Or there was there was a bunch of other things of people like there was a woman that went to get her coffee they didn't say what coffee shop but she specifically ordered it at 140 degrees and then proceeds to bring her own thermometer to measure or to yeah measure the temperature it's probably starbucks everyone there yeah but i'm like make your orders. own damn coffee at home yeah. If you have a temp- thermometer, go in your goddamn kitchen and grind your own beans. Grind your Stop own beans. Stretching my willy. <laughs> Put it at your own 100. Boil your degrees. own water. I mean, I like. It was weird, and it's not weird considering how the world works. But I found a lot of disturbing things in Florida, and uh, I basically took the top trifecta: so BK, okay. McDonald's, Wendy's, mm-hmm. in and Florida. No, just anywhere. And the top stories were in Florida. It was crazy. It just worked out that way. One of my favorite ones um, was in McDonald's. It was in 2019. Mm -hmm. So in Florida. And there was a guy and he freaked out because as you know, like we're trying to be socially conscious and like have less plastic straws. Yeah. There wasn't enough plastic straws for him. So he like grabbed this chick, like the employee and got charged with battery. For not having enough straws, where he there was probably like thirty or you forty. You just need one, right? Yeah, dude. One mouthful. But hole. he was freaking out because he thought it was like this attack on like people who want to use plastic straws, and so oh. he was like, "You fucking like Mrr. people with the climate change and the bullshit." Well, I, I have something I now. showed you earlier, and yeah. I was like, "Can you guess? If you're listening, you're gonna have to watch it because you're not gonna know. Can you guess what is in this plastic container?" What well, did I say? You said AirPods. Oh yeah. The answer is no. It's not AirPods. What is it? It's a, it's a very, straw. But what do you do when you're done with it? You just stick it back in there like sticky and shit? No, you go wash it off like a Where? humane, what if civilized you're at, person. What if you're at the carnival? Then you get some water and you rinse it out. What would or you, you think if it, you saw someone cleaning their straw at a carnival? Well, I would say that's weird. Um, but you could also, it's a plastic container that seals shut. You can also that's put true. it in sticky-like. Tuck I'm gonna, it back you know in. What? If you're doing this, I'm going to start flossing in public again. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Just shit flying out of your <laughs> teeth. And then you put it back in, and then you snap it shut, and it even has a convenient little key ring, so you can hang it, dangle it from your keys or your purse yeah. or your belt loop if you feel obliged. How funny would that be if some cop thought you had, like, a mini taser, and you pull out a fucking straw? And it's like, lavender? No, sir. That's my drinking utensil. Save the planet. But see, if you're going to be an asshole about straws, bring your own. Bring your own straw, bitch all. Go back to Florida. Yeah. And then at, my favorite, at Target. my favorite establishment, Wendy's in Florida, Florida man accused of breaking into Wendy's where he then cooked a burger and stole the safe. So it was at night. They were closed. He broke in. He's like, I'm going to make a fucking square patty. So I'm, sure, I'm sure his goal was stealing the safe. And yeah, while he and was there, he's like, mm, I'm hungry. Because he knows. Wendy knows. He knows. They all know. It's good shit. Uh, He didn't get away with it, obviously. No, he got arrested. And then finally, Burger King, Florida woman charged with assault, attempted robbery, and criminal mischief with a deadly weapon because she didn't get free fries. Well, And it didn't go beyond that. I didn't know what she did to the humans. I don't know what... (laughs) 
sources of battery objects she, she had. Did she have a coupon? Was Couldn't her coupon it expired? I think she probably thought it was her birthday. Do you, you don't get free fries on your birthday. Well, she probably thought she did. Just making shit up. In, in Florida, Florida, everything is free. If you have a, enough assault weapons and... But you it's know. a mystery because we don't really know. And no. I think that's what I love about the Florida Man stories. Um, we all, we also have a Florida Man episode if you feel inclined to listen or watch that. Um, is a lot of the stories don't have like... There's no reason. There's, there's no reason, but there's also like, there's holes in the story. Yeah. There's always like, blah, 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 this murder. And it's like, like what? It's literally unsolved crime. Yeah. But at like these very low levels where you're just like, this should be, um, I don't know. It's like just stupid crime. Yeah. Florida man, stupid crime. It's like if the world is a shopping mall, Florida is a gift uh, shop in a Alabama, you know, a pawn shop. <laughs> Men take their teeth like out and put them in like Milky you, Way. You're in there and you're like, where am I? But it's, you can't look away. Do I need a rabbit's foot on a keychain? Nobody needs that. Nobody that's needs what, that. I mean, that's Florida though. You're like, what are these things? It's so hot. Yeah. And why sticky. is there? Why do I need why a shower? Why are there thirty different trees? And why is my hair growing? Why is there Slurpees in everyone's hands? And you know what? It has Disney World. So for the rest of my life, I will always it go has, back. Florida is literally fast food as a state. It's like That's very, it's comparison. very addictive. You it can't is. not love it, and you don't know why. And it's a level of crazy that is like intriguing because you want to know, like you want to know more and be part of part of it like yeah. we talked about we want our own florida man story we don't want to go to jail but we want like something we yeah. want to be in a newspaper in florida for doing something ridiculous but then we get let go i'm gonna cover my foot in chocolate <laughs> and kind of like a bird head like a chicken head and then you not and then we not can, sever it though we're no, not attached we we're can, not selling it to eat we're selling we're it we're selling it for, for a story uh, for a well, headline we're selling it for a dream <laughs> for a dream of being the first Florida man. Florida women. fans. It's going to be only fans for Florida. <laughs> Every, the tables have turned. No booty pics. Oh, okay. Whoa. I have, my receipts are falling Legal out. Legal documents. <laughs> um, I have one more, and then I feel like we can move on to creepy treats. Uh, yeah, and this have, was like, ah. probably my favorite. It's not really like the best story that I found, but it's just because of the whole atmosphere of it. So it's Halloween night. We're favorites of Halloween night. We love Halloween night. So there's a subway that is conveniently located across the street from a haunted house. We love subway. Haunted house was not described. We don't know where it was. We don't know which haunted house it was. It doesn't really matter. So kids come in after going to the haunted house. They had been drinking. They proceed to order the sandwiches. There's one subway employee working, prepares the sandwiches. She can clearly tell that they're drunk and disorderly, but they're not like being rude. Yeah. You know, they're just doing their drunky Halloween business. And after the sandwiches are made, one of the children or adults, I don't the know how old they children. were. <laughs> the drunk nine-year-olds. Um, one of the children. <laughs> one of the drunk people stands in the middle of the Subway restaurant and proceeds to projectile vomit all over Subway like the exorcist. That sounds like everywhere. my fifth grade experiment. And then pisses themselves. Oh, wow. Yeah. So that was a fun night for that employee to be like, wow, it's Halloween. Sucks. Trick I have treat. to work. Trick or treat. And I got to clean up barf and piss. Aww. So, I mean, that Poor sucks. Lad. He's just trying to make his rent. But I like the the whole, in the story, the description of like the exorcist. Because I just imagine a person standing in their head just spinning around. Yeah. And it's just green vomit all over Subway. Like hitting Ooh. the barf. Or what do they call the, the sneeze guard of Subway? What? Sneeze guard. Oh, I like, didn't know there was a sneeze guard. I don't go to Subway that much, but I do live next to one. <laughs> you know what's crazy is? I live next to so many establishments we're talking about. And you don't go to them. I mean, Subway Subway had its moments, but yeah. I feel it, like- It smells like burning rubber for some weird reason. And I don't know why, but- <laughs> Maybe that's just the one by it, your place. It shouldn't smell well, like that. there's something really great that I, I'm not embarrassed to say anymore, but um, I live next to a Papa John's and- as you know, when I first got my apartment, my bathroom, it is completely kitty corner to the trash chute. So when trash chutes back up, it smells like shit. And for some fucking reason, the smells go through my bathroom and into my bedroom. And then my bedroom smells like garbage. So what do I have to do? I have to open the window. And I have to say, I haven't shut my window in like two months because every day pizza smells come in. Oh, that's nice. And I never get trash smells. Well, you know, <laughs> trash smells. 
<laughs> I, just smell like, I just smell like I'm sleeping in a vat of preacher. You know something. what you might need? Like a nice air filter. Like you might need a no, new air filter. I, like it smells like pizza. And then sometimes it'll smell like tacos. And I'm like, oh, they're putting some meat on that pizza. Snap. Yeah. I don't. But it's like. But it's better than smelling like garbage. I mean, garbage. it's definitely not something that's attractive to the male species unless they like, like pizza. Come to, come to my. I mean, most. If, if most men don't males, like pizza, do not talk to me. Cameron loves the smell of anything food related, like yeah. anything. Well, That's not anything, but most things food related. He's he enjoys it. So it, it, it could be a smell. It could be a lure. It's the yeah. pizza scent. Put it in a can. Ooh. Spray it. Bottle that shit up. Yeah. Okay. Um and without further ado, I present to you Crepitrits. Cre- which I mean, we're doing a fast food episode and It's from creepy treats to crappy treats. But these are hey, good. Don't but judge not, me. You don't even not, know what it is. They're yet. not crappy. Well, because I feel like they are. Well, you do know what it is, I but pretend that I you don't know. I saw you trying to cook things, and it was <gasps> trying. I used that oven and microwave like a champ. Bada-ling. Ta-da. Ba-da-dum. So I present to you White Castle, which I was very interested which in. Which I've never excited. had before. Well, these are veggie White Castle burgers, so it's not going to be quite the same. Um, and unfortunately, these episodes are about an hour. So this was prepa- prepared pre-starting filming. It so. was pre-prepared very long ago in a galaxy far away. So there was no stories that ever confirmed that White wow, Castle had- Wow, this is cold. <laughs> White Castle ever had cockroaches in it, but we- You know why? Because the AC's still on. <laughs> yeah, I Cameron. heard it at the beginning, but he, I mean, I think it's fine. So. I love it. We all know I am a cold hearted bitch. Wow, this looks weird. <laughs> it's- uh, is this real? What does this mean? <laughs> it's not. This isn't. <laughs> I'm having a Where'd most, my bug I'm go? having a stroke. <laughs> that um, makes both of us. <laughs> I put the, them on the ground. The cockroach is plastic, so you don't want to eat that. So White Castle, these burgers, I've had them at a real White Castle, and they're delicious. These are the veggie ver- version, so. <laughs> it needs mustard. Can you grab the mustard? We um, need to muster this up, baby. But I mean, wait, I'm gonna make a delicacy. I'm gonna put fries inside. Wait, don't get, we also have Band-Aid fries. Oh, yucky. Some sweet little, I didn't realize, I didn't have like, oh, it's on the counter, Cameron. It's already chilling for us, for our I didn't realize disposal. the Band-Aid, I thought I had like Hello Kitty Band-Aids or Star Wars Band-Aids, um, but all I had is tan Band-Aids, so you can't really tell. Well, but that's how my fry looked at, um, Islands. It was like wrapped around the little. He's just wearing his bandana, <laughs> you know. I'm gonna make a meal. <laughs> it's like that the, thing in Mulan where sh- the guy's like, "I'm gonna make a man out of you, but I'm making a meal out of this." Thank you, Dark Lord. Thank you, Lord, Father. It's mustard. It does. It needs some sauces. It needs some sauces. This is uh, what makes us chefs. We're, uh, we cannot. Oh, wow, that's a lot of ketchup. Oh, you got it. We're, we're running low on the mustard. You got to shake it vigorously like you mean it. I don't it. want to ruin your couch. Don't get the mustard on. Oh, oh. that sounded good. <laughs> <laughs> I have to eat it over the plate because it's going to make like, a mess. It's like ASMR. <laughs> Help. I will. No, I'm done. We got to. I'm done with my mustard. I mean. Okay. Mm-hmm. Don't spill it everywhere. I we got only it. got one couch. It's not wow, bad. That's delicious. Right? Um, I do very much enjoy these once you get them out of the microwave. So the whole magic of these is you don't bake them in the oven. You literally just take them out of the plastic wrapper and put them in the microwave for a minute. Oh. And they are delicious. And it's veggie. Mm. So it's very good for you. What do you think? I think it's good. I think mine is entirely mustard, but I love it. The fries taste like shit because they've been sitting out for. Well, you know what? We made an effort. We did make an effort. So, as we chew, um, fast food. One thing, if you could have it right now, what would it be? Ooh. Quick, quick challenge. Quick oh, fire. Right now, say it. Oh, I would have Jack in the Box breakfast donuts. What? <laughs> yes, they're a thing. Jack in the Box breakfast donuts. They're donut balls. Oh, um, one thing that if I could have, I don't know if they make it anymore. They're the Jack in the Box, the little mini churros. Have you ever had oh, those? Oh yeah, they have those. Ah. So good. And it's not really like a fast food burger fries. Everything that we say we love is either ice cream ice or cream dessert. Breakfast. We don't give a shit about like, what is it? Savory? Like savory. Sweet. We do, we love sugar. We're not chefs here. 
clearly <laughs> we're not. We have a plate of cold ass burgers and fries full of band-aids and cockroaches, but they're cute. All right, Fiend, so thanks for joining us for this episode of Let's Get Spooky. I'm Leanna Vamp. And I'm Ashley. And you can watch all of our episodes at letsgetspooky.com. You can also listen to us on iTunes and Spotify. So until next time, stay spooky. Stay spooky.